okay so uh, uh, in this video guys I, i'll show you uh, it is a continuing video of our uh, interchange assembly so as far as now we have our interchange assembly uh, we have added its skeleton which is a blank coordinate file and uh, we have added all these uh, parts to its coordinates so what i need uh, this these uh, sub assemblies i will simplify its name i mean for example uh, for this part its diameter is uh, about uh, 2.750 okay so i will uh, uh, keep 2750 after ta bushing underscore okay similarly for other parts and we can we can do it at one go rename and we have all these sub assemblies and we will have to simplify its name because in main assembly where we will add these uh, sub assemblies we will call these sub assemblies uh, by their diameter so what parameters we use to call those parts in main assembly that we need to use in the name okay so here it will be 2750 2750 its uh, diameter is 2.75 inch but we know uh, creo doesn't take uh, decimal or point in its file names Uh, it will it won't allow decimal so we should avoid decimal and just simplify uh, without decimal this name similarly for this 769155 it is 2000 similarly for this 156 it is 2188 for 157 mm, Two two five zero. So, what exactly these? Uh, this is diameters, and when I will put these uh, diameters in uh, parameters in main assembly, and then this this part will reflect. This part will uh, will be displayed. Okay, in the main assembly. I think you can keep uh, with your reference anything. For example, you can convert this two point two five zero in mm and keep simply mm. I have some parts. I'll show you. For one fifty eight, it is two four three eight two four three eight. Okay, for one fifty nine, twenty five hundred. For one sixty, two six eight eight. One sixty one. It is eighty mm. So, okay, I want to call these parts, uh, which is four thirty three, by uh, 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 by by input eighty mm. When I'll type eighty mm in those respective diameter field, this part should be displayed. So this is my priority. So I rename this part as <coughs> underscore eighty mm. Seven seventy nine seventy mm. Nine twenty seven sixty mm. Nine twenty eight is sixty five mm. And nine twenty nine seventy five mm. Nine thirty eighty five mm. Okay. See here, these all parts renamed. 
okay so uh, so we have our interchange assembly with all the parts which we need added now the main part begins and that is uh, see here uh, some parts are having a lot of uh, planes and other parts included we should keep it is simple only those planes and axes i mean datums we should keep which we are going to uh, make its pairs okay so here uh, we can see this is simplified already already but this is not i think okay so this is 164 i will open this and in this only this i need axis here i need this axis as a which we are going to use as a constraint when we add this part in a main assembly okay so similar way we need to hide some planes here we don't want this extra plane so we can get confused if it is so i will hide this sub assembly planes hide i will save this and i will also hide all part datum planes okay now just i have just only main assembly this assembly file planes and its coordinates okay also i need to add a axis along this cylinder so i will choose this right top click axis now axis is added you can see here okay Seventy. I will also simplify this in the same manner. Keep uh, remember, guys. We should have all our working files in a single folder. Uh, we should set that folder as a working directory, and we should work in that folder itself. Because when we open some files in Creo, uh, it keep those files name as a as a history or uh, in 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 memory. so if we if we will try to uh, uh create a new file with the same name it won't allow because the same file is already exist in the same folder <coughs> these are all basics <coughs> of uh, working uh, structure in creo so i need uh, our axis uh, I will keep this axis up. This file is simplified. I will go to keep <coughs> okay, one axis here. I will hide this and I will save this hidden place data. Add spare items. Okay. This. Now, this. This is all called uh, cleaning or simplifying the uh, files. These. These all parts, so that we can easily pair datums, required datums, and uh, axes, surfaces, whatever we need to have constraint in a main assembly. So we can do that without getting confused. Axis. Okay, axis was already there, so we'll delete it. Okay, this is already simplified. <coughs> Now all are simplified. So you can see. Okay, so main part begins here, friends. 
what what i will do next is <coughs> i will uh, make these axes of this part these axes this axes axes of all these uh, parts as a uh, to behave like a sing same axis okay same axis that is the interchange so <coughs> similarly i will uh, i will make this creo behave uh, to these planes these vertical planes as a same plane for all parts okay this is called a uh, pairing okay reference pairing table uh, similarly for this plane horizontal plane for all parts similarly this surface similarly this surface this one sorry okay this surface this surface for all parts to behave like a same surface same okay so i will click on this ref pairing table here and in active component we should select first one so we first added this 2750 i will select this and then i will click this plus icon okay after clicking this plus icon <coughs> i will come here in uh, workspace and will hold control key okay so press control key and select these surfaces you can see as as we are selecting this one dot is appearing it means uh, that surface is selected if that dot is not appearing then we should select that again that surface again okay you can see here so what i am doing i am i am i am telling creo to behave these surfaces as a single surface okay it will interchange those surfaces when we call it in a main assembly so these all dots are there so it's all selected now i will add another pairing and again i will hold control key and we'll add this vertical planes because these these planes and surfaces i am going to use to add this sub assembly in a main assembly okay when we add some part or a sub assembly in main assembly we know we should add those with with the constraints same as a uh, mating in solid works mates okay so this is this vertical planes are done again i will click i will uh, unpress the control key and i will add plus again i will press the control key and will add these horizontal planes okay zoom out and check if all dots are present yes it's present now again i will uh, uh, release the control key and again i will press plus icon again i'll press the control key and i need this time this all axis to behave as a single axis so i will have to select this all axis and never uh, release the control key while selecting this axis or datums any <coughs> okay you only release when you done with all axes okay now now just zoom out and check if all dots are present it means okay i have uh, selected all axes now release the control key and here just click okay now you see here these all our parts this sub assemblies are getting added uh, they are uh, selected in color it means we have added our required constraints so i will save it 
okay um i'll make a one another video to make our keys uh, shortcut keys to uh, to save and to open and other uh, other works so i'm uh, habituated to use this key so that otherwise you can save from here also save no problem save it it will save in the our working directory click okay okay so okay i will show you uh, suppose <coughs> this uh, th th uh, this interchange assembly its skeleton part and our this sub assemblies okay now uh, what i need uh, my working folder uh, which is main assembly we have very we have our main assembly is different so i need these all uh, parts to be there either we can do we can close this interchange assembly and copy these all parts uh, to this this is my main folder where um, i have my main assembly or we can just uh, we can just backup this okay so for, before backup i will have to set working directory okay so i will set my select working directory at uh, this one okay i changed my working directory and i will file save as backup when i'll do this this all parts will, will get backup there so let us do it okay okay now close so this is guys uh, now in next video i will show you uh, how actually we utilize this interchange assembly in our main assembly how we can call these individual parts in main assembly okay without adding individual parts we will just add a single part single sub assembly here in case we have assembly so single assembly i will add single one and i will call these all different different diameters so when i call 2000 2000 this part will appear when i will call 2188 this will appear so automatically it will interchange uh, uh, as per the diameter given okay thank you